Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas and it's going to be level 1 and problem number 3. So it goes like this. A 90mm long line is parallel to and 25mm in front of the VP. Its one end is in the HP while the other is 50mm above the HP. Alright. Draw its projections and find its inclination with the HP. So the true length in this case uh, is going to be 90mm and its one end is in the HP okay so since it is in the hp then the distance of that particular point from the hp is going to be zero as it lies in the horizontal plane uh, so similarly we have another endpoint that is endpoint b which lies at a height of 50 millimeters above the horizontal plane okay this one over here now draw its projection and find its inclination with hp all right so the line is parallel to vp okay and in front of vp and this is the this is how the line has been positioned. So this line over here, you can clearly see that this line is parallel to this vertical plane. This is the vertical plane. All right. Now this endpoint A is in the HP. You can clearly see that this is in the HP. And when you look at this endpoint from the front, you're going to see that uh, its front view lies in the reference or XY line. All right. Now the another endpoint, this endpoint B has been kept in such a manner that it lies at a height of 50 millimeters. All right. So this is what we need to do and uh, whenever any line is parallel to the vertical plane, its top view, this top view over here is going to be parallel to this XY line. All right. So let's begin. Okay. So initially what we're going to do is we're going to uh, write over here. This is going to be point A and it is since it is parallel to VP and 25 mm in front of VP okay the whole line so each and every point on that line is going to be 25 in front of VP so this is going to be 25 so this we have over here is a dash and this point over here is simply a okay and I'm going to give it some dimensions this is going to be 25 all right now as you can clearly see that this top view is a straight line so what I'll be doing is I'll draw this straight line. I know that it's going to be a straight line, but how long? I have no idea about it. Okay. One more thing that we need to do is um, this endpoint B lies at a height of 50 millimeters from um, the reference line or from the horizontal plane. Now this 50 millimeter height can only be seen from the front. So what I'll do is I'll draw randomly draw a line at a height of 50 millimeters and uh, it should look something like this all right that's it okay so this line over here is uh, at a height of 50 millimeters okay and the true length of this line can only be seen from the front okay so what i'll do is with a dash as center i'll put an arc over here a 90 millimeter arc and this should be my point B dash and it should look something like this. Please watch carefully with A dash as center and with an arc length of 90 uh, with a with a radius of 90 millimeters. Uh, you need to do this. I'll show you what to do. That's exactly all right. That's exactly what I was uh, trying to explain. So this over here is what you call point B dash. OK, and this when you join this P dash with A dash, you have a line and this is going to be a 90 mm long line. I'm going to write in between 90 millimeters. All right. I'm going to shift this slightly to the left. Okay. For clarity. And this A dash meets with A with a straight line and B dash is going to meet with somewhere here. Um, so that we have uh, point B. So I'll write this as point B, simply B. And let me do this and this and finally let us darken this so this over here is the projection that was asked of us in the equation all right true length this is the apparent top view all right so that was all from my side guys any questions or doubts write them down below in the comment section this is manas patnaik signing off do subscribe and please come back to my channel to learn more about engineering drawing and projection of lines thank you for watching